let's create an account in the Microsoft Learn Educator Center. So to get to this website, I want you to go to education.microsoft.com. I know that the link's different here, but that's just the shortcut link that will bring you here. You may see sometimes talking uh, something that references the MEC. Don't worry too much about that. That was what they previously had, the Microsoft Educator Center, the MEC, and now it is now part of Microsoft Learn. So what you're going to do is you're gonna click sign in. Even if you haven't created an account, you're still gonna click sign in. Then if you're already logged in with a Microsoft account, it will find that for you and you can click on it right here. If not, go ahead and type in your Microsoft email address or your, I should say your Microsoft account email address or your phone number or whatever it is you signed up with. Now you will see it brings you into this and it's saying to just make sure that you haven't registered before with a different account or anything like that. And you're gonna go ahead and click next. It's gonna ask you for your display name. So you can click that. It should automatically pull your name in from office, but if you need to change it, go right ahead. It's going to pull in your email address and then it's going to ask for your country. So I'm gonna go ahead and select United States and click save. Now, if for some reason you don't want to get information about updated things like that, you can go ahead and click skip. All right, now you're set, you can click okay, and you can start looking for training. So I would click right here, browse all educator training, and there are so many things available. You can search um, with any of these filters, you can just put in a search box, by clicking on that, we've already narrowed it down to teachers, but if you want to specify, like if you you don't, if you know you're not gonna need anything related to higher education or related to being a student, uh, excuse me, a school leader or a parent guardian, you can just say just the ones that are related to K-12 educator. And there's so many things in here, not just how to use the Microsoft tools. So for example, you see something here about dyslexia. There's some trainings with that. Flipgrid, critical thinking, Microsoft Teams. So there's all different things and I really encourage you to explore all the things that Microsoft Learning Center or Microsoft Learn has to offer for you.